was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Happy? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. Right. There was. There was a guy there, but. There was some kind of. Some kind of animal. What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. A full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears around here. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh shit! That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. So, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. And I know how to use it, sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah, but is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like, as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this, like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with, like, a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like, right now. 
Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay. Let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Well, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! <laughs> So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb